So my mailman just dropped this box off. It's another one of my eBay purchases. And I'm going to show you what's inside. Now, I do know one thing. It's antique. I ordered a couple of things, so I'm not sure what this item is. Stay tuned and let's get this box open so I could show you. So I just got the box open. And I forgot what it is. Now, if it's one of my fragile items, they did use bubble wrap, but they didn't use any packing peanuts to protect um, all the open spaces and gaps in the box. And that makes me worry. So let's just hope this isn't something made out of porcelain or glass. Stay tuned. So now I know what the item is, and uh, that packing job is making me a little nervous. Now, I didn't get it out of the pouch yet, but this was um, a purchase that I made from a zero feedback eBayer. So this was a brand new seller with zero feedbacks, and let's just hope the item inside is not broken. Let me take it out and show you. All right, you're going to see with me, if this thing is broken, I will cry, because this is a sleeper, and a sleeper is something that is valuable that... Um, you get for really cheap. So these arrived safe and sound. Thank goodness. So what these are, are antique opera glasses made out of mother of pearl. So it's with chrome and also, well, it's aluminum that makes it look like uh, silver and actual like gold brass gild with the mother of pearl wrapped around these glasses. And the amazing part is it has its lorgnette stick which is something that makes these glasses worth all the more money. So any any kind of antique opera glasses with this long yet type of stick actually really adds <clears throat> to the value. So look how intricate this is, this workmanship. Isn't that just absolutely stunning and beautiful? These are in great shape and they come with their original pouch, which is made out of velvet or velveteen. And it does have a little wear, but that's okay. And uh, just look how gorgeous these are. Now, this was a sleeper purchase. And a sleeper purchase is something like when the seller really doesn't know what the item is worth or valued at. And you get it really cheap, and it's like a victory on eBay. <laughs> and uh, this was one of those things. And so somebody had just listed it, a zero feedback seller. And uh, I really stomped on it immediately. It was uh, had a really cheap buy it now price under well under 50 bucks and these sell for i see uh anywhere as between 175 dollars to 275 dollars so i think i did really really well on this now i'm not going to resell sell them probably not for a long time until i probably get sick of them i do get sick of my antiques so i go on a collecting thing spray on certain items and then i just get tired of them after a while after a while you do get sick of collecting the same thing all the time and i like variety and they say variety is the spice of life. So this does have a mark on it. I don't know if you can see that. But right there, there is a mark. And there's some kind of like patent or something. Now, I believe, I suspect these are French. And a lot of these are French. And um, I don't know if they're Lemire. And Lemire was like the most expensive ones that were made at the time. But um, these were very, very, made very, very well with quality, quality materials. And so I had uh, really gotten a great buy on this. Thank God the seller actually semi-wrapped them okay. <laughs> he didn't put any padding in the box except for the bubble wrap around the glasses. But nonetheless, these are great. Now, this telescoping handle is just one of the most prettiest ones I've ever seen. has a little um, rosette on the end made out of metal. I don't know if you can see that. It's very hard to focus in on this. And it has this workmanship along the lorgnette stick. And that is just stunning. And I like the contrast between the silver and the brass. That's a really, really pretty um, design. These were um, really, really beautiful. These are most likely from 1880 to 1890. And for anything to last this long and uh, actually still be usable is absolutely mind-boggling. These actually work. I've tested them out for a moment. And uh, the lenses are as uh, beautiful as the day they were made. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.